Hey guys, welcome to Pinky Tech and Review and today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to unbreak your Lenovo A536. So mine happened because it was stuck on a firmware update and it can't boot anymore. It was stuck on the logo screen. So now I'm going to teach you how to fix that and make it stock again. So first of all, I'll give you some links to download and it's a website and you find these three files here and you download them. Next you have to open the, this USB VCOM driver. So you can see there's something in here. You need to install into your computer first. So to do that, you need to go to device manager. And then you need to connect your phone without the battery. USB VCOM. So this is the one you're looking for. And if you haven't installed it, I'm going to teach you how to without showing you because I've already installed it and it will be very quite hard to uninstall. So for the first time you plug it in, it's going to be in the other devices. And something will come up saying MT65 cross cross. So you right click on that, you click update driver software, you say browse my computer for driver software and you just find this folder which is in my desktop I just press next and it will install automatically so it's very easy you just have to install the driver and you are good to go open flash tool so now in this this ROM folder there's already flash tool inside so you just have to open it and choose the scatter loading file which is from the target underscore bin in the earlier folder so you just have to select this one and it will all come out like this and what you have to do next is choose options download and make sure this one is checked and after that you need to change this to firmware upgrade and then you're good to go you just have to press download and now you connect your phone with the battery in but you do not have to turn on your phone you just have to connect your phone in so you have to now put your battery back in and then just connect it without doing anything you don't have to turn it on So you now see there's a red bar from the bottom and you see it's writing. So you just have to wait for the flash to finish. So I'll resume the video when it's finished. This will take some time because the original firmware is pretty big. Alright, so now it's finished and there's this OK sign, so it's done. Yeah, now you just have to unplug it and turn it on to see if it's working. So the first time of the boot is going to take some time, so let's just wait for it. So there's the boot screen and let's keep waiting to see if it's really working. Alright, so there it is, it's now working normally. And everything works fine. So that's it for this video and thanks for watching. If like and subscribe if this video helped you and goodbye.